How familiar are you with caladiums? I, I'm very familiar. Are you now? With them. I have some caladiums in pots at my house, but I'm not a very good caladium grower, so I'm really <laughs> glad we're doing this segment right now. Every July, people convene in the small town of Lake Placid, Florida for the annual Caladium Festival to celebrate this gorgeous plant mm. that's very popular with homeowners and garden enthusiasts. Grower Danielle Dom is here arms in Lake yes, Placid and we're so happy to have you. Thank you for having us. And these are gorgeous. Why don't mine look like this? Well they should. <laughs> I know. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Where, I don't know. Are they outside? They, yes. In your pot? Yes they're out. Well, what, should he be, what should he be doing? They're very easy. They yeah. are, you put them in the ground, cover them with some soil, and with the summer rains that we're having yeah. right now, it should be just a couple weeks, and you should have big, pretty beautiful do you, leaves. Do you know what it is? They are beautiful now because we've had so much rain, but when mm. we're not as much in that rainy season, they don't look as good. Right. So, then, you for, then you have to water. Then you have to Well, maybe <laughs> that's course. it. Maybe that's it. All right, so let's talk about this festival. Yeah. And why Lake Placid is the caladium capital of the world? Lake Placid is the caladium capital of the world. We um, have just the ideal growing conditions there to propagate the bulbs. I mean, everybody can grow them all mm -hmm. over the country, mm -hmm. right. but to propagate the bulbs, we have the right growing conditions. The soil we have on the old lake bottom muck of Lake Estepoga and the day and nighttime temperatures are ideal hmm. for the, bulb production. We're looking at pictures from the festival as well, and then I saw a, a large crowd. So people come from all over for this festival, don't they? And is that fields of caladium? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Well, you, you can't just we take a cutting. 900 acres of, of caladium. Really? That's amazing. Okay. You can't just take a cutting and, and, and make your own plant. Right. So you need to get a bulb, right? Correct. Okay. Now I've got a bulb in my hand. What's the proper way to plant this bulb. Okay, so bulbs have tops and bottoms. Yes. So the bottom is usually flat and bald. Bald mm -hmm. and flat. And Got the it. top is usually hairy. Hairy. And it has these spikes where the leaves are going to come out. <laughs> Got it. So the hair to the air is what we say. Good to know. Bald on the bottom, hair on the top. <laughs> and when you are putting them in the pot, you're going to want about two inches of soil on top of the bulb. Okay. So you, um, so, uh, so what we have here, mm -hmm. we're down about two and a half, three inches. Yes. Put your bulbs in. Yes. And here is in this this hanging basket, we're going to put probably five or six bulbs in this it's basket. It's going to hold You're that not, many? Yes. If you put one bulb, it's going to look pitiful. Okay. Okay. I, I just put pitiful. one bulb no, in here. You no, need no, like, so you need like three in there. It's numbers, really? right, Danielle? That's right. I okay. see. To get a quality pot like these, okay. you need to put several bulbs in there. Bald on the bottom, hair mm -hmm. on the top. Yes. Hairy on the top. Hairy. <laughs> here Come we on, go. Cindy, get uh, it right. You know what? I'll just remember hair on the top, and I'll still know how to do it. And then we're just going to cover them with soil. Uh huh. And I'm going to make a mess now, on the table. Now, do these need to be fertilized? They are not heavy feeders. Okay. You can yeah. fertilize them like once in a growing season. Okay. Um, if you give them too much fertilizer, you could change the color of the leaves. They could all revert oh. to green. Guess what, Danielle? Uh, you could get holes in your leaves. I did. I think You're, I just discovered are, my mistake. You are yes. over baby in yeah, your caladium. They're very easy. So yeah. even people with a black thumb will have success with these. Yes, they are very simple. There's hope for very me. Mm -hmm. And there here in Florida, you can leave them in the ground all winter long. They don't need to be pulled up in the winter. Good. Uh, they they go, will go dormant. They go dormant, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And then they will come back up next summer. Yeah. So after I've spring. planted like this, should I give it a really good watering? You want to water it good. Do not keep them wet. You don't want them soaking wet all right, day long right, because right. they will rot. How long do they keep coming back year after year? Typically, you could, we say about three years, depending okay. on your growing conditions. Right. Um, if you have the ideal conditions, sometimes you'll have them longer. Right. Mm. If you were to plant a border in your yard, and this year you put in 50 bulbs in that border, next year mm -hmm. you might want to add, you know, another 10 or 15, just to keep it as full and there nice as it was keep the first year. Keep the momentum going. And how many different varieties do you have of the caladium? There are over a hundred varieties mm. out there. Mm. Some so of beautiful. them are, are new and in um, production, uh, like test uh -huh. testing mm -hmm. stages. Mm -hmm. They right. may be beautiful, but they don't have a real strong stem and they might fall over right. or they okay. sunburn real easy. But Sh there are probably 70, 80 in, in commercial. Products. Well, they are beautiful Wonderful. and there's going to be a lot going on at this festival. A lot of food. I, I saw antique cars in yes. the video. Antique so car just show on Saturday. Uh -huh. Cars and, and bikes. Nice. Okay. Um, food, bulbs, caladiums, <laughs> planted plants. Nice. And a lot of entertainment? 
Entertainment. Nice. Yes, sir. All, All right. right. Well, Danielle, have a great time. The Caladium Festival runs July 26th through the 28th in Lake Placid, Florida, the Caladium capital of the world. Yes, it is, Thank Danielle you Tom. Thank you so much. Yes, we'll sir. be right back with more daytime after this. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.